My name's Rob, I teach chemistry here at Exeter College. I have a degree in chemistry and also a PhD in chemistry and then I went on to do my industrial experience. Before I was a lecturer here at Exeter College I was an industrial chemist for five years. Uh, I've been here now for two years. Chemistry is essentially the an applied science where we look at molecules and compounds reacting with each other that has applications in biology, um, in physics and a lot of other sciences as well. The difference between GCSE um, sciences and A-level chemistry for example is that there's a lot more dedicated hours towards a particular science. So in chemistry they have between four and five hours lessons per week. They have more independent study that's expected of them when they go home. Typically the same amount of hours is expected in independent study. It's a lot more applied so there's more practicals. There's more opportunities to look further, okay, academically, um, stretching towards even the degree level, and it is a little bit of a jump. Exeter College has a dedicated maths and science centre. This is this is great for the students. They get to um, mix in all the other sciences together. They get to understand how chemistry has an impact on biology, physics, and the other sciences, and how maths is embedded in um, all of the sciences, as it were. Within A-level chemistry, uh, we start off by learning about the basics, about the atom and the sort of physical chemistry side of things, the maths that is embedded within that physics, as it were, that builds up. We look at a bit of biological context, how the molecules are put together and how they react together, and eventually how it might lead into things like drug molecules being used to, to treat diseases, etc. We hope that those students that are completing chemistry get an opportunity to uh, use that applied science okay in many different careers it could be medicine it could be in the chemical industry itself um, either as graduate either as graduates um, they can go into the chem chemical industry typically or they can go on to for example do further research at university PhD level etc